What is up guys, it is Nisho here, and uh, today I got you guys a Dynamist deck profile, um, <laughs> which is kind of funny because uh, this is like one of the first pure builds, like I haven't done a pure, like a truly pure build uh, of a deck for a deck profile since like UAs, and even then I didn't, I didn't talk too much about UAs yet, um, I haven't done a pure deck profile in quite a while actually, most of my decks have been like mixtures, so... To play something pure has been a little refreshing, and uh, it definitely is a real fun deck. Like it does work in a way that you don't see um, a lot of decks work. And uh, utilizing this new card, uh, D Dynamis Howling, it definitely makes the deck like a whole lot better. So uh, let's just get into the deck profile. We start off with Dynamis Spinos. So now Pendulum. All the Dynamis are Pendulum Monsters, so, uh, and in their Pendulum effects, they have one or two effects, based on their scale. So if they're a scale 3, they stop Dynamis cards from being destroyed by card effects, or Dynamis monsters from being destroyed by battle. Um, and the 6th scale, the higher scale, stops uh, any Dynamis cards from being targeted, so that means even your Spell and Chap cards that had Dynamis in the name, if they'll be targeted by something like Twin Twisters, you can just uh, destroy your Dynamis scale instead. So it's definitely real helpful. And the deck synergizes no, uh, well. So uh, Dynamis Spinos, uh, he's a scale 3, so he stops uh, destruction. And uh, you can show you one other Dynamis monster you control to activate one of these effects. So he tributes beforehand, so it's not during the battle phase. Like main phase 1, you get to tribute a monster anytime. Kind of like a. Uh, uh, Abyss Megalo for Mermails. He, he, he can either attack twice or he can attack directly. Most times you're going to choose attack twice. You're going to declare no attack twice because like attacking directly isn't going to be too relevant unless your opponent has a real big board and you just need to hit over them. So uh, he's definitely nice. He's a level 5 um, uh, machine water type. So you do see uh, Cyber Dragon Nova down there and Infinity. So Rex. Rex is uh, the more crazier one um, of the two big guys in Dynamis. So he's a scale 6, so he stops um, Dynamis from being targeted. And uh, when he attacks, at the end of the damage step, you should be one under Dynamis monster and then activate one of these effects. So uh, he can either make a second attack on opponent's monster, but um, if it attacks an offensive monster, he gets to do piercing. Or, when you tribute the monster, you can shuffle a card from your opponent's uh, hand or their side of the field into the deck, and then he gains a 100 attack. So, um, he can either shuffle something back, or he can attack again. Kind of, He kind of feels like a bit, a little bit of a BLS. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, like, like this BLS hybrid. Um, <laughs> but, shuffling back cards at the end of the damage step definitely help, is helpful, and he does permanently gain 100 attack as long as he's face up on the field, so that definitely is helpful as well. He's 24 normally, and then he'll be 25 after that. And the 100 can stack, so, but, you know, like, how many turns is he going to be doing this effect? Like, how many, how many times are you going to attack and then shuffle back a card and attack and shuffle back a card? Like, Something's gonna happen, so like you're probably gonna get there get that effect like once or twice per game But it definitely can be a game-changing thing and uh, He doesn't have to destroy monster by battle or anything, you know He can just attack again like it's just after he attacks he can either shuffle a card back So any card from their hand or their field which is definitely helpful um, that he, he can uh, send back cards from the hand as well so, yeah, he's definitely uh, the Dynamis you kind of want to see the most. And this deck does have quite a bit of searching power. So, uh, he, you're probably going to see him, or you can probably search him a good amount of the time. Uh, so, I play one Ceratops. Um, I don't know what the normal ratio for this guy is, but I, I just wanted to stick to one because I think he was decent. So, if, you, if a Dynamis card you control will be destroyed by... So, he's a scale 3, so he stops him from being destroyed. And if all monsters you control are Dynamis monsters... And none are another copy of himself. So if you only control Dynamis and no other copies of Ceratops, well, I'm only playing one, so that won't be a problem. You can special them from the hand for free. 
Um, I never really use that effect, but it definitely could be helpful sometime. I mean, uh, I'm not really focusing on going into Nova or Infinity, but this deck can make it um, sometimes, so uh, just be wary of that. Like, <laughs> like I, I know there's going to be someone who forgets that this deck has an extra deck because the deck feels so self-sufficient, and I can definitely understand why uh, you would forget that. So one Luster Pendulum, um, simply because uh, the, the Draco Slayer, Synchro, and Fusion are in the extra deck. You don't need to play him, honestly. I, I didn't really draw, him, <laughs> draw into him. Uh, most play like, I remember back in the day, people used to play, like, uh, Draco Slayers or Dracos with, uh, like, Dynamus Dracos with, like, a Triple Painful Decision and, like, Masterpiece and, uh, not Masterpiece. Wait, is it a masterpiece? The, the the level four normal pendulum Draco Slayer. They all play that one, and uh, triple painful decision. So, uh, and also uh, Draco face off. So, it it was kind of like uh, a way for to to give the deck some speed. I don't really think it was necessary, but um, it definitely could work. So, um, it's more of just because uh, the fusion was actually real nice. So. I don't know. I just played at one just in case uh, I want to see uh, Ignister, which is also at one, <laughs> uh, ironically. So we have uh, Terran. Uh, so Dynamis Terran, he's a scale three. Uh, and, you know, he stops Dynamis from being destroyed. I'm, I'm going to remind you uh, every time we get to a new Dynamis uh, what the scales do. So uh, he has the effect of when he destroys mar uh, opponent's monster by battle. Add any Dynamis card that you want from your deck to your hand. So any spell, trap, or monster that has Dynamis in the name. Which is definitely very useful. So you kind of want to see this guy in. You kind of want him to be the one to attack over certain cards. Um, he definitely is helpful. And uh, he, he does... Uh, he... Like... You don't get his effect as often as you want it. But if you get his effect, it definitely will help you a lot. So... Um... He's kind of like your go-to guy. Like, he, like, he's the one you always want to have, like, in your hand, just in case your opponent brings out, like, a monster weaker than 18. Or, in case you have another copy of this next card, which is Dynamist Plesios. Uh, so, he's a scale 6, so he stops Dynamist from being targeted. And his monster effect is all face-up monsters your opponent controls lose 100 attack and defense for each Dynamist card you control. So, each monster... Um, each card in the Pendulum Zones and each Fallen Trap card that are face up have Dynamis in the name. Your opponent, all your opponent's monsters lose 100 for each. He's definitely a nice control card. Um, usually, uh, on average, like you'd have like a Pendulum Scale set up and him on board, so that would be like 300, and maybe like a Charge or a Howling up, so that would be like 400. So all your opponent's monsters losing like 400 when he's face up. It's definitely, he's definitely a threat. Your opponent's gonna want to get rid of him. But um, if you have him on the field and you summon out your Terran, uh, Terran can probably hit over something easier than, you know, just hitting, uh, having it normally. And, you know, if you have multiple, multiple Plesios hits, they stack. So instead of being 400, it would be like 800 if you had two Plesios. Uh, next, we have a Stegos uh, Soror, which is a scale 3, so he stops Dynamis from being destroyed. Um, and monster effect is when another pendulum monster you control battles an opponent's monster after damage calculation you can destroy both monsters. So he kind of does help your uh, get rid of like he, he, he helps uh, your pendulum monsters get over or get rid of um, monsters your opponent controls that either like can't be destroyed by battle or are just like plain annoying like period. So um, he's definitely helpful. So we have one Zephyros the Elite. Um, if you don't know what Zephyros does, you're probably you're probably slacking. <laughs> uh, if this card is in your graveyard, you can return one face of card you control to the hand. Special on this card, and if you do, take 400. You only use his effect once per duel. So uh, the reason you play him is because of Dynamis Charge. Because uh, um, if Charge goes back, because when Charge is activated, you search a Dynamis um, monster from your deck, and, um, 
being able to bring that back with Zephyros and activate it again can definitely be helpful. But there are times where you won't have done mischarge. Sometimes you just have a pendulum scale. So if you activate a pendulum scale, send it back to him, special out Zephyros, and then normal summon out that monster, which could possibly be a level four or will most likely be level four. Then you can just overlay those two into an exceed or go into a synchro. And it can be really convenient. Um, unless you have Luster, then, <laughs> then it'll just be annoying. Uh, if Luster is your only level four pendulum. But, um, yeah, he's definitely just a nice addition. Uh, I mainly just have him here because you do play a lot of face-ups, so um, he doesn't hurt to play. Uh, so double uh, Dynamis Ankleos. Um, he's a scale 6 Dynamis, so he stops him from being targeted. Um, and his his effect, you don't really care about his effect. He's just a 2,000 uh, defender. You're probably going to put him on scale if you draw him because his monster effect is banish any monster destroyed by battle with a Dynamis monster you control. Nine times out of ten, or 9.9 .9 times out of ten, that will not be a relevant effect. As a matter of fact, if you even see the card, if you even decide to search this card, you're, you're just going to put him on the scale. You're not going to care about his effect. And if you do summon him on the field, you're probably just going to tribute him for Rex or Spinos. It's, he's, he's probably, he's, he isn't that useful. So we have one maxi, because, you know, this deck isn't that fast, and could use quite a bit more draw power. Uh, triple Instant Fusion... Uh, one limited removal since they're all machines um, and they can all, all, and they are all pendulums as well so they can be pendulum summoned back um, and also in case you need to go for the OTK you know this is just here so double twin twisters for back row and triple dynamis charge so dynamis charge when this card is activated you search a dynamis and once per turn of a dynamis card on the field is placed face up in your action deck so if a dynamis uh, it goes from your field to the extra deck, you add one of those cards to your hand. Uh, so it isn't optional, it's the first one that uh, that gets sent to the extra deck from the field, goes back to your hand. And you're going to actually one dynamis charge per turn. Which means, technically, if you have two on the board, then, uh, then you know, the first two that go to your extra deck will also come back so it's a very nice card it, it, it kind of recycles your resources and a lot of times you, um, when these dynamis protect their cards like uh, the scale threes that stop dynamis from being destroyed they, they, they just destroy themselves and uh, you just get it back to your hand if you have dynamis charge on the field or if your opponent twin twisters uh, try to target your Rex or like your cards on scales and you have a scale six uh, you negate the effect and the scale 6 will get destroyed, but if you have charge in the field, the scale 6 just goes back to your hand. So it's real convenient um, and definitely helpful um, to have renewable. And, uh, you know, if you bring this back with Zephyros and you activate it again, then you get to search another Dynamis monster from your deck, which is always, always, uh, always welcome. So, we're starting out the trap cards with a uh, double Quaking Mirror Force. Quaking Mirror Force is, in my opinion, still the best Mirror Force around. When Link Format comes around, that may change, but for now, um, I'm playing double Quaking Mirror Force. So next we have Triple Dynamis Rush. You, It's a normal trap card that just lets you special summon a Dynamis monster from your deck. And if you do, it is unaffected by all other card effects. Uh, for the rest of the turn, the only real clause is at the end. At the end phase, you uh, destroy the monster, since it's a pendulum monster. Unless your opponent has Dark Law or Macros Cosmos or Dimensional Fissure, uh, it's going to go to the extra deck, which allows Charge to activate, and you get it to your hand. So Rush. Either way, I don't think um, you're losing out on anything. Uh, at, at the very least, if your uh, if your opponent tries to attack you directly or something, and you just special summon out a Dynamis, you can have a body on the field, or if you have a Howling out, um, Dynamis Howling, uh, you can tribute that Dynamis. Oh, well, actually, it's of Actually, wait, yeah, you can still tribute the Dynamis um, for cost, I believe, maybe. Or not. <laughs> but still, you can have a 25 body if you summon out Spinos. And, you know, just have it ready to Pendulum Summon the very next turn. So, um, Dynamis Rush is definitely nice. Uh, if they try to, like, uh, Raigeki your board, 
Um, you just have this rush uh, just in case, you know, they try to go for game or something. But um, it's uh, it's definitely nice to just go deeper into your deck and just get a Dynamist. So uh, we have triple, I mean, it's a triple, double Floodgate Chapel. Um, I think putting monsters face down um, and being able to like lock your opponent out of that monster is definitely helpful. So when your opponent summons a monster, change that monster face down face monster monster uh, to face down defense position, and the monsters you uh, change to face down the defense position by this effect cannot change their battle position. So the fact they can't change it makes it a lot more useful and uh, make sure that uh, since your deck is kind of slow, that your opponent kind of slows down their board as well. Because sometimes destroying the card um, only provokes your opponent to do more, but sometimes putting it face down can like literally stop an opponent's play. Um, one card I forgot to play in this deck, I, I you can actually play a Torrential in this deck because Torrential won't hurt this deck um, as bad as some other cards would because you have your uh, Dynamis Scale 3s. Oh wait, don't stop opponent's card effect. Uh, I forget I said that. I mean, you can still play Torrential. But, um, because the cards like Dynamis Rush, uh, you can, like, Torrential and still have your Dynamis on board, and then during the end phase, you know, that die gets destroyed. So, yeah, you can, like, fit a Torrential somewhere in here, maybe take a, uh, like, Luster or an Instant, because I don't think you need three Instants, to be honest. It's, it's just here. So, next we have Triple Dynamis Howling, the MVP of the deck so far. Um, I probably wouldn't be playing this deck if Howling didn't exist, so um, I, I do think this card is probably the best card in the deck. So when this card is activated, you place um, two up to two uh, Dynamis Pendulum Monsters from, from your deck, your main deck, into your Pendulum Zones. So that's automatically better than a lot of cards. Um, like it, like it, it's, it's already a pretty damn good card. Uh, where you can just place any two dynamis monsters you want from your um, deck into your extra deck. So, and the fact they all have uh, protection effects on scale only makes it better. And so, uh, and the fact it says up to two, so that means if you already have one in scale, you activate it, just place any other dynamis you want in scale. So, it definitely has a lot of versatility. And then, uh, if you do, you go and pendulum summon dynamis monsters, you, that's probably the that's probably what you're gonna do anyway. Um, usually Luster or Zephyros, you can just save your normal summon for those two. But uh, most times you're only gonna summon Dynamis Pendulum Monsters anyway, so it's not a really big deal. Um, and then once per turn, if this card is already face up, you can t tribute one Dynamis Monster, then target one card your opponent controls, return to the hand. The fact that A, it's once per turn, and since that's a trap card, that it means that it's once per turn during either player's turn, um, so, that definitely is helpful. You get to tribute Dynamis, and then send back back row, send back annoying monsters, send back uh, Dragonic Diagram before they pop a card. You know, it, it, it definitely does a lot for the deck that they have these two effects on one card that A, can be searched, and B, um, speeds up the deck. So, this deck th did have a problem of being real slow, and I think Howling is one of the cards doesn't make it too much faster, but it fixes the problem, or one of the problems. The deck still has a few problems, uh, but I think Howling um, is part of the solution or in this deck. And then the last three trap cards are the Solomon Grave, uh, two, two Strikes, and a Warning. Okay, so moving on to the extra deck. We got ourselves one Dynastar Power, the Mighty, the mighty Draco Slayer which can only be fusion summoned by attributing its materials and not by using polymerization, which is why we play it. So you tribute the Draco Slayer Pendulum Monster, which is why we play Luster Pendulum, and any other Pendulum Monster. And uh, Pendulum Monsters in your Monster Zone and Pendulum Zones cannot be destroyed by battle or by your opponent's card effects. Once per turn, you special summon the Draco Slayer Pendulum Monster from your hand or graveyard, but it cannot be used as a fusion material. So his second effect you're probably not gonna use uh, but if you, uh, if you use him, 
if you summon them using Luster Pendulum and another Pendulum Monster. I'm saying if you do, because I haven't summoned them. Uh, he's going to be like a wall. You, you, most people summon him in defense mode. He has 2950 defense and 2000 attack. So he's more of just to protect your cards. Like more protection rather than just... Uh, like being like a big beater. So uh, he kind of does the job of, of your scale threes for your scale threes. So none of your pendulum monsters that are dynamist um, can really get destroyed. Um, you know, but it does, he doesn't protect your back row, sadly. So, if, uh, your back row is about to get Twin Twister, or, I mean, I don't really know any generic poppy, like, non-targeting spawn trap card poppy in the TCG that people use. I know OCG has Harpy's Fetter Duster, but in the TCG, we don't have that yet, so, uh, we won't have to worry about that. So, if they do... Try to pop your spawn trap cards. It's most likely going to be with something that targets, so you can negate it with something like a Rex or any of your scale sixes. So uh, next off, we have Sea Monster Theseus. He's just here, uh, just in case you want to make level nine synchro. You honestly don't have to play him at all. Um, <laughs> I just put him in just like as like a. Just in case. Uh, Panzer Dragon, um, he's a level 5 machine. You probably play him better in Cyber Dragons, but he's just here in case you only have one uh, level 5 Dynamis and you want to go into Nova or Infinity. And like, oh, I have this Intervision. Go into Panzer and then you go into Infinity. But if not, here's what you use him for. So uh, the turn that. So, if, when he's destroyed, you target one card on the field and destroy it. So, it's an optional effect to target a card in the field. So, if only so if your opponent activates the card that you thought you were going to destroy, you don't have to destroy anything. But, um, Instant does destroy the monster it summons at the end of the turn. So, it, once he is destroyed, he gets to pop a card um, on the field. So, you can pop one of your opponent's cards. Just in case, you know, if you don't have any level 5 Dynamis, um, and you pr maybe already used up Norton, um, you could just play, uh, Rare Fish instead of Sea Monster Theseus or instead of Fancy Dragon. You don't have to play both of these. I just did it because, uh, when I was making this deck, I wasn't really too concerned about the level 5, so I only played 5 level 5, and, uh, to be honest, um, I was kind of right in that mindset because most of the time you kind of want to keep these guys on the field until the battle phase and then just after the battle phase you, you do something if you still have the means to do it so um, it's definitely helpful um, to have like both these guys just in case but um, I did like I do think you can play uh, Rare Fish and Norton obviously Norton is a uh, Level 4 fusion uh, helps you get to your uh, rank 4s easier. Uh, Vermilion, we're only playing because we have Sea Monster of Theseus, and Ignister, we're only playing because of Lester Pendulum. Both of these are situational synchros that you're probably not going to see a lot. So uh, don't play them if you don't have to. Um, so if you're taking out Lester, you can take out Ignister. If you're, if you're taking out um, Theseus, then you can take out Vermilion. Dragon back as well, so you, you don't have to do that. And you know, if you take out Lester, you, you get two uh, spaces in action because you, you also get to take out a uh, Dynaster Power. But um, Dynaster is pretty decent, so I, I keep Lester in. So next we have uh, Infinity. Uh, if you don't know what Infinity does, he's just a negate anything once per turn, and he could swallow up your attack mission monsters your opponent controls. Um, and he gains 200 feet, extreme to attached to it. But you summon him by using two level fives to go into Nova, and then overlaying him, and then you could use Nova to summon him. So Utopia Lightning, uh, Bahamut Shark, since these are all waters, uh, all level four, and you do play Norton as well, so in case one of these guys gets sent to Grave, Norton can just bring that bad boy back. Just go into Bahamut, go into Toad. You're probably going to do that main phase 2 and not main phase 1. Um, you might do it main phase 1, but it definitely is helpful. 
Um, it, it, it's helpful either way. So you can either scare your opponent during their turn with a toad on your board, or you can um, do a main phase one and try to bait out any back row um, with toad. So level four Utopia for lightning. Uh, Yuri got X because you because this is a machine deck. Heavy ar heavy armor train iron wolf. I, I play this in a lot of machine decks, but I never actually use it, so you don't have to play it. Uh, what you could do is you could play uh, Tornado Dragon instead of this card because Tornado Dragon did just come out, so uh, it's coming out in Maximum Crisis, and I am gonna do a video on it later. Well, I already did a video on it, but I'm gonna do. It. It's gonna be in Maximum Crisis uh, dissected as well, so uh, check that out as well. And uh, Castell. Uh, Cassell is just here because um, he's he, he's slowly grown into my favorite ring four, um, so I just put him in everything that can make ring four. And Toad for Bahamut, you could definitely fit another Bahamut and Toad in here. Uh, you could definitely fit uh, I guess other rank fours, but I, like this deck doesn't really require the extra deck, I, like which is why I said like Bahamut is something you go into during main phase two. Um, most times it's like situational, if anything. Um, and then instant fusion is more of like 50-50, whether you're going into Panzer Dragon just to pop a card or Panzer Dragon into ex into exceed, or if you're going to Norton to go into exceed. But most of the times you want to save Norton until there's a monster in the graveyard, and since these are pendulums. That won't happen unless there's some sort of weird situation, so uh, just watch out for that. But uh, I guess that's all I have to say for this deck. This deck is pretty fun. Um, expect the Ego Pro Duels coming up soon if it's not up already. Um, this was Nistro here. Just uh, giving you guys an outlook on Dynamis and how uh, they play, or how uh, I think they should be built past Maximum Crisis with this new card, Dynamis Howling. Uh, check out my Maximum Crisis Dissected series if you haven't already, and uh, I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.